Okay, let's draw some trees. I'm using just a regular mechanical pencil, or clicky pencil, and you can use a regular number two pencil or whatever. You've got a color pencil, go for that. So to start our tree, we need to make a trunk. So we're gonna start from the top and work our way down in a nice soft squiggly line. Now to make a trunk, it's gonna start off kind of thin at the top and then it's gonna get real wide at the bottom. And if you want, you can add some roots for your tree. And again, the roots are like your trunk. They're just gonna have little soft wavy lines. Now we need to start adding some branches. So like our trunk, your branches are gonna have a nice soft wavy line and they're gonna be a lot thinner than your trunk. And the reason why we chose trees this morning is because they can go every which way and there's no wrong way to do it. You just start off real thin up at the top and work your way down, make them a little thicker at the bottom. And then once you've got your main limbs, you're gonna add some smaller limbs. And the more limbs you have, the more fruit you can put on them. I'm gonna add a few more branches because I want my tree to have lots of fruit and lots of leaves. And I am planning on doing a peach tree, but you can do a blueberry tree, an apple tree, whatever tree you want. You can make up your own fruit. We're just gonna have all sorts of creative fun this morning. Lots of branches. Bob Ross always added lots of branches and said, everyone needs a friend. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give this tree a lot of friends. Maybe even add some birds. Speaking of friends, my friend Mike wanted some daisies for his tree. So just for Mike, we're gonna do a daisy. So you're gonna start off with a little oval and then to make your petals, you're gonna give them kind of a teardrop shape. And you're gonna add them all around your oval and they get to go every which way. Just like that. And then it needs a little stem. Let's give it a little leaf for fun. And then maybe add another stem right here, little leaf, and we'll do one that's not all the way open yet. So to do one that's not all the way open, start at your stem and give it maybe three little petals and they don't have to connect. You can add another one so it looks like it's starting to open. And so we'll put those at the bottom of our tree. Now, the leaves are fun because it adds all sorts of details to your tree. Let's see, I'm gonna do my leaves like this. So it's kind of a, like you would make an eye. But if you want, you can make fluffy leaves. or you could make a swirly leaf. But however you do it, you're just gonna add them all around your tree and they go every which way. They can go sideways, they can go up and down. Let's see, and you're gonna want different sizes. So make some small ones Make some big ones, make some medium ones, 
and you're just going to start to put them all around your tree. And the more leaves you have, the more fun you can add. Put them close together, far apart. It's your tree, so you do them how you want to do them. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start putting in my peaches. So, for me to make a peach, I'm going to make kind of like a heart. And then it kind of comes down like that. So, instead of it just being a plain heart, like that, you give it a curve. And then you can give it a little stem, maybe even a little leaf. And I'm going to put them growing all over the tree. I'm going to put some upside down ones. Put one over here that's going sideways. Now, if you want to do blueberries, you can do blueberries. To do a blueberry, you'll do just a little circle. And then blueberries have a little crown on top just like that. Or if you want to do apples, they kind of look like a peach, but they don't have the point here at the bottom. And you again can give it a stem and a leaf. And if you want, you can add all the fruits. It can just be a big fruit tree that has all of the fruits. And you're just going to keep adding to your tree until it's nice and full. And if you want, I enjoy bugs. I love bugs. So I think I'm going to add a dragonfly. So to do a dragonfly, we're going to do a little circle. And then they have this really thin body. And then they have two wings on each side. Just like that. And then why don't we add a bird? So to do a bird, we're going to give it a little circle head. And we're going to give it an oval body. Give it a little beak. And it needs an eye. Let's see. Why don't we add some flowers to our tree too? So again, like we made the daisy, put a little circle. I'm going to make really small petals. Just like that, because we want this tree to have lots of spring in it. And I want you to just keep adding all of the things you want to add to your tree, because there is no wrong way to draw a tree. add lots of leaves and if you want you can even add more branches just like this and again the branches like the leaves can go any which way you like and I always feel like the more branches you have and the more leaves you have the more fun your tree is going to be because then you can have all sorts of creatures hanging out in your tree. Oh yeah, let's add a ladybug. So to do a ladybug, we're gonna we're gonna make this a big ladybug. You're gonna do an oval, put a line across, and then a line down, and then you're gonna give your ladybug some spots. Then the top you can fill in just like that. 
And I think I'm also going to add another dragonfly. Just like that. All right, let's go back to adding more leaves. So when I'm doing art for customers and clients, I do what's called a sketch. So for me, this would be the beginning of a sketch idea. And so I would start to do it and practice it on paper. And then when I'm ready to do the real thing, I will go over it with ink and color it in. And so we're gonna call this a practice sketch if you want, or it can be your full piece for today. Because if you feel like you've practiced this and you wanna do it all over again, you can go for it. But this is just for fun today. I'm gonna add some more peaches. Today I'm filming from North Carolina where I live, but I was born in Georgia, so that is why I'm going with peaches today. And you know what, I also really like owls. So I'm gonna put an owl down here. So an owl needs a little hole to live in. And our owl, you're gonna do like a little half oval. And then we're gonna give it funny little ears because I'm gonna go with this being a great horn owl. They have big eyes. This one's gonna be a silly owl. And you need a little beak. And then I'm gonna fill in his hole. Just like that. Let's add some more leaves around our peaches. Oh, this bird needs a wing. There we go. All right. Let's also add tree bark. So trees have a tendency to grow in a spiral. So to make the tree bark, we're just going to add a couple of lines down just like this, like it's growing up towards the sky. Just like this. And the more details you add to your tree, the cooler it looks, I think. But again, your tree so you can go as wild as you want or make it as calm as you want let's see let's add some grass so to do grass we're going to just do a couple of lines going up or you can make like mini waves like that Okay, so I think that is as much as I'm going to draw for my tree. Now, you can move on to coloring your tree. I am using my markers this morning. Let's see. I really like trees because you can add lots of colors to them. So my trunk. I'm going to start off with a 
light brown. Now I'm what you call a watercolorist. Whenever I do my full art pieces, I like to use watercolors. But I also really enjoy all other types of mediums. So markers are fun, pens are fun. Whatever makes you happy. Okay. Let's go with a darker brown. You're just going to keep adding all sorts of colors to your tree trunk. Sometimes tree trunks have a little bit of moss on them, and I love moss. So you know what? I'm going to add some moss. So the way I'm going to do my moss is I'm going to do some dots. because moss is kind of patchy. And I love moss because it grows in all sorts of places that some plants can't grow. And there's all different types of moss. Some of it's real dark green, some of it's real light green. I think I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to my moss. Just for funsies. All right. Now you're going to want to start coloring in some of your leaves. And again, like we did on the tree trunk, tree leaves are all sorts of colors. So we're going to do some dark green ones. And for fun, because that's what art is all about, it's fun. I'm going to add some blue leaves. And I'm going to make my peaches this fun pink color. And with markers, you can go over some colors and make them turn into a new color. Let's give this peach a nice little green. And I think for my bird, I'm going to make it a red bird. Another thing I really enjoy doing is taking a really nice pen and adding more lines because I love lots of details. You hear my dog Link. Now, this is a fun pen. This you can get at Hobby Lobby, and it's a gold pen. So it adds some gold highlights. And I'm gonna add some gold to my leaves.
And leaves have you know, a little stem of their own growing out of them. So if you want, you can add that kind of pattern on there. Let's see. And then another fun pen I like are these jelly rolls, which again, you can get at Hobby Lobby. And again, I like lots of details. Lots of colors. Link likes to bark. But I want you to have as much fun with your tree as you want to have. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let you color your trees. And I'm going to finish my tree. And when I finish up with my tree, I will post it. And I would love to see you post yours. And... I want you to just get as creative as you want to get with it. You can add a river, you can add lots of fruit, you can put no fruit, just put lots of leaves on there, draw your favorite bugs, maybe even a lizard, and I cannot wait to see your artwork, and I hope you guys are having fun.